Oh, here comes another mini. Let's see if they wave. Yeah! Yes! I got a wave. That's so exciting. I got another wave. I got a peace sign. Oh! That's so fun. <laughs> oh, you don't know how exciting that is. Yes! Here it is. The 2011 Mini Cooper S Clubman. This is the second generation Mini Cooper. This is a 2011. They started the Clubmans in 2008. The Mini Cooper Clubman. Now, it's not a regular Mini Cooper per se. It's a little bit longer to allow for more cargo room. And there's a half door, which later on they made it a full four doors, which I'm not crazy about. I actually like the way it was with the three, you know, the two and a half doors. All right. So here we have the 1.6 liter N18 motor. Don't look at this panel coming off. The second generation Mini Cooper S's, they turbocharge instead of supercharging and they kept the uh, hood scoop even though it's not functional. But you could, there's actually stuff you can buy, inserts that can make it actual functional with a cold air intake. And it's just pretty neat, but this still to me is technically functional in a way as it helps dissipate the heat coming off the turbocharger that's right up front which i know in models they tend to deform the hood scoop up here because of all the heat coming right off the turbochargers now when it comes to room it's not bad the doors that is awesome how wide these doors open. I don't know why more car doors don't open like this, but given it is a very large, long door. So get in and out, it's just super easy to get in here. I sit in here very nicely, and believe it or not, I, people kind of look at me weird. When I tell them I actually feel better sitting in this than I do in my mid But, kind of feel nice and sit you sit in here very nicely and I'm about 5'10 5'11 I still have plenty of room you can't really see from there but I have plenty of room and of course the sunroof helps I really hope that the wind isn't interfering because it's a windy day as usual it seems to always be windy when I'm filming and very easy I have plenty of room the side bolsters are aggressive, but not that aggressive that it bothers me. Okay, this is the half door. Nice and open, it opens pretty decent. Pull lever, get in, and here we go. Let's give it a try. Now, ooh, I never sat back here in the Mini. It's uh, not that big for me, I honestly think. The Maverick definitely has more space back here than I would. I probably would have been able to sit in the back in the Maverick, but try it. So, uh, well, hopefully nobody steals me. Now this back here is probably my favorite thing about the Clubman, even though it's a, it's kind of a. Well, you're in a small car, so you already can't see behind you. It's, you know, you got the center here. So you can't really see directly behind you, but I love this. Just how awesome is that? You, there's not very many cars that SUVs and stuff that have barn doors like this. Like this is, I, I love this. This is like my favorite thing about it. Now there's plenty, 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 plenty of storage in here. Of course, you got this panel that flips up or you can even uh, remove it. Give me a second. There we go. I did not vacuum in there yet. But <laughs> you can remove it. The seats fold down. And of course, with this panel back on there, you got a, a decent level space. And then you have your spare tire comp uh, compartment down here with the tow hook. And yeah, you have tie downs. You have a little like grocery hook 
that's a lot that's that's a lot of space if you ask me for a small car it's not bad let's go ahead and bring these seats back up because I, like, I like having them up now one thing i wish i had that it really sucks with a lot of these older older cars when you get into hatchbacks there's usually a parcel cover literally every single car or suv that i bought that had a parcel cover option i always have to find it because it never come i don't what do people do with it i love that though that this is like boop just touch the button welcome to the back of your mini for the second gen minis uh bmw minis they changed the things out a little bit and the speedometer that people five miles behind you can see how fast you're going is still there in the middle so this is cool the glove box oh sorry i didn't push it hard enough right there now this is the um secret compartment that like you can find 15 million youtube videos on saying it's a secret compartment but it's not because everybody mostly everybody who owns a mini cooper knows that it exists and now because of youtube so does everybody else so it's not much of a secret now is it all righty oh <laughs> i'm pulling too quick let's go for a drive when i first saw this mini for sale i was uber excited because i've always had a thing i always liked mini coopers i really fell in love with the first generation bmw mini coopers because of the italian job that movie absolutely sold me on these and i really like them so just as a casual daily driver this thing would be phenomenal and i i can't get enough of this thing how hard it pulls it's absolutely amazing It just rips. <laughs> you row through these gears, I'll tell you what. Like, unbelievable. It just goes. And, oh my God, this, in the car, it just holds the road so nicely. Now, I know these are rated at about 181 horsepower for the S, and I believe the John Cooper Works, which is another model, which is the, like the higher model, it's a roughly 201 horsepower, I believe. There we go. I can't resist the corner. It's just so great. Can't resist it. You know, just this thing just pulls through corners and everything. It's just so great. I can't help it. I'll tell you what. If you did, if you did not, if you don't drive a Mini Cooper, if you've never driven a Mini Cooper and you're not a fan of them or something, I'm just gonna tell you this. Get yourself on Toro or if you know somebody, drive a Mini Cooper. Drive one, seriously. I've loved Mini Coopers since they first came out in this generation. I fell in love after watching Italian Job. I used to play the Italian Job game on PlayStation 2. Drive a Mini. Seriously. Do yourself that favor. And you will see it's an amazing car. It is an absolute thrill. This is one of my favorite cars I've ever driven. And, you know, no, I haven't driven supercars or whatnot. But still, you know, this is still an amazing car. Do yourself a favor. Drive a Mini so much fun to just throw this thing around the corners it just goes Woo! unbelievable just rips that's that it's windy it's getting cold again it's january happy new year everybody thank you to all my subscribers i'm i'm ex so ecstatic i'm over 300 subs thank you to everybody if you haven't subscribed 
just you know click the subscribe button do me the favor help me out you know i know about 99 percent of you guys aren't subscribed you're watching my video but you don't subscribe come on help. don't worry i'll get better i'll get better eventually thank you and thank you to my patreon cynthia every every month just help me out and thank you guys this is the mini cooper i love it and yeah i'll see you guys later credits subscribe <laughs>